Welcome to lesson 7.3 for business calculus. Today we're going to talk about the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem for integrals states that somewhere between the inscribed and circumscribed rectangles, there is a rectangle whose area is precisely equal to the area under the curve. Okay, and um, this means that if f is continuous, there exists a number c in the closed interval a to b such that the integral of a to b of f of x dx is equal to f of c times b minus a. The value of f of c is called the average value of f on the integral uh, closed interval a b. Notice that you can find this average value by doing uh, by calculating 1 over b minus a times the area, excuse me, the integral from um, a to b, f of x, d, d of x. So, so you can see the pictures here. Here's the inscribed rectangle, so its area is less than the area under the curve. Here's the circumscribed rectangle, and obviously there's going to be way too much area under it. There has to be a value c, an x value c, um, where f of c creates this rectangle that is equal to the actual area under the curve. So the average value of a function is the value that would give the same area if the function were a constant. So here we have, uh, we want to do the um, integral. Our area is going to equal the integral from 0 to 3 of 1 half x squared dx. So we do th um, the antiderivative and then figure out the definite integral there. So uh, using the reverse power rule, we are going to increase our um, exponent by 1 and multiply by 1 over n plus 1. So we're going to use 3, so 1 half times 1 third is 1 sixth, and then we have x to the third, and we'll go from 0 to 3. And so um, when we plug in the 3, we get 27 over 6, and then when we plug in 0, we get 0. So we have 27 six, which is nine halves, which is 4.5. Okay. To figure out what that average value is, that f of c, what it is, the height that we need, we're going to divide, because this is the area. Okay, it's the area. So we're going to divide by the width, and that will give us the height or the length. It'll give us f of c. So since the total area is 4.5, b minus a is going to be 3 minus 0. It's going to be 3. And so we're going to uh, multiply by 1 third. You can also write it as dividing by 3. Either way, you're going to get 1.5. And that's what we call the average value. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in class.